สวัสดีครับ Good afternoon once again. Today is Monday, the 31st of May, 2021, and this is the English language summary here at the Center for COVID Situation Administration, or CCSA, for you as as always. So, firstly, I'll just start with some um, good news, some accolades. Just that the Thailand Health Promotion Fund, the s a s a s a of Thailand, had recently been Awarded the Nelson Mandela Award for Public Health by the World Health Organization for its work in promoting health in Thailand and in the region. So, congratulations to that agency, Thailand Health Promotion Fund. It's an, uh, a feather in, uh, in the cap of Thailand again, but we will not rest on our uh, laurels, on our accolades, because the battle still continues. And of course, with that, we have to continue to communicate to all of you. We have to join together um, to fight off COVID once and for all. And the battle still continues. And we'll start off with the numbers we have for today. New confirmed case: 5,483. Of this number, 1,205 cases are from local transmission. 2,270 are from cases. Of active case finding, and 1,953 from within the penitentiaries. Now you would note that the new number of cases today is quite high, the a new high for us over 5,000. But nevertheless, uh, half of that, uh, 2,000 plus, are from our active case findings, which is actually good news that we are able to find. Positive cases in the various areas that are at risk, such as construction sites, that we have spoken in length uh, yesterday. Now, new recoveries: we have 3,101. We have active cases; cases still being treated at over 50,000 now. 50,416, as you see in the green box on top there. Of this number, there are. 1,233 cases having pneumonitis or lung inflammation, and 390 cases remain on ventilators. This is cumulative. Unfortunately, we have six, sorry, 19 new fatalities recorded for today, making the cumulative at over a thousand deaths now from COVID, 1,031 to be exact. Now, for just some detail. Once in a while, I give you some details of the cases of fatality, not to sound morbid, but of course, so that we can learn from the actual things that are happening in Thailand and prevent any further fatalities. So, 19 new fatalities recorded for today. 12 are male, seven female. Age range is 46 to 88. Median age is 63. So, therefore, this proves that. It affects people of all ages, especially the elderly as well. Some weeks we talk about the um, younger patients being affected, a few months old, a few years old, and today we have the oldest uh, person be, uh, who had passed away, unfortunately, being at 88 years old. In terms of the geographical distribution, mostly most of the fatalities were found in Bangkok. 12 out of the 19. 12 out of 19 in Bangkok, and one fatality each in the provinces of k a n j a n a b u r i c h a c h e n g s a o c h o n b u r i n a k o n r a j a s i m a s m u t p r a k a n s m u t s a k o n and n o n t a b u r i Now, more than half of these fatalities were infected from family members, and of course, as we all know, most with underlying health conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, etc. Now, in terms of the New cases confirmed today. We have the province uh, list on screen for you now. The provinces with the highest number of new confirmed cases. So Bangkok, like in the past weeks, remain the area with the highest number of new cases. Today it's 1,356 out of the total for today, followed by p e t b u r i Now p e t b u r i I talked about that yesterday. That it's one province which is Uh, trailing behind Bangkok, so to speak, at at number two, now being the well, number number two in terms of having the highest number of of cases, and p e t b u r i is, of course, not a province which is in the close proximity of of Bangkok. Now the other provinces, number three, four, and five on onwards, you see, most are 
provinces which are quite nearer to Bangkok, like uh, Samut Prakan, Pathum Thani, Non Thaburi, with the number of cases for each of those provinces on screen for you. Good news is that now up to 30 provinces report of having no new cases at all today. 30 new provinces, 30 provinces. Just some observations from the daily CCSA meeting that we had this morning and the presentation by Dr. Apisamai in the Thai edition just now. We have more cases reported today due to the higher active case finding missions that have been performed, especially in the construction camps, factories, and fresh markets. The number of people being diagnosed through active case finding is now nearly double the number of people who get tested voluntarily. This reflects the great efforts, our continuous efforts to control the infection in those high-risk areas. As I mentioned, some construction worker camps have staff of over uh, a thousand workers and in each, in each and every district of Bangkok there are construction worker campsites. So that, that's why the active case finding missions have been concentrated there. In Bangkok there remain many active clusters. Two new clusters have been detected in Saton and Bang Na districts. The Bangkok Metropolitan Administration is also continuing to conduct around 10,000 active case findings daily. And due to the current situation, the majority of new cases in the country were related to factories and construction camps. The Public Health Ministry, therefore, is holding a meeting with the Labor Ministry and, in Labor Ministry and Industry Ministry, Ministry of Industry, to discuss further disease control measures to mitigate uh, infections in these areas. So this integration is ongoing, it has been going on, and it will be intensified through these discussions. The CCSA also proposed uh, during the meeting that disease control measures in factories and construction campsites be tightened by the provision of more quarantine facilities for close contact persons and the acceleration of the process of transferring patients to field hospitals to stop the virus from spreading into the community from the factories and construction camps across Bangkok. Now just some interesting piece of information for the English language audience regarding the vaccine swap arrangement in which the Ministry of Foreign Affairs had released uh, this uh, to the media uh, around two days ago for a clear understanding regarding Thailand's vaccine swap arrangement. Because regarding, to the, regarding the report that the government has uh, changed its plan in joining the COVAX facility, just to clarify that the foreign ministry in April, since April, had directed the permanent representative of Thailand to the United Nations in Geneva to approach the COVAX facility, which is run by the World Health Organization for vaccine swap arrangement. And this arrangement is an agreement between two parties when one country wishes to obtain vaccines from another that has a vaccine surplus and return them later when there is enough vaccine in the country. Now entering into this vaccine swap arrangement is separate from negotiations regarding the vaccine purchase agreement or different also from joining the COVAX facility itself. The foreign ministry has sought the vaccine swap arrangement with other countries in addition to the COVAX facility such as Israel, the UAE, Bahrain and the United States and negotiation for this arrangement reflects the determination to keep no stones unturned to keep the public safe by proactively approaching all parties to procure more vaccines in every way possible. So as you know, diplomatically, the negotiations and the contact has been going on uh, all, all the time as we speak, leaving no stones unturned. The cooperation between Thailand and the COVAX facility is in terms of as a donor country. In last December, the Thai government donated 100,000 US dollars to the Access to COVID Tools Accelerator scheme through the World Health Organization to support the development and allocation of vaccines and drugs as global public goods. 
So that's an interesting piece of information for you. Also regarding vaccine distribution, uh, as we mentioned, the rollout plan, the Department of Disease Control recently announced uh, additional information that vaccine registration for people living in the provinces will be open in the month of June and we of course advise you to check with the uh, provincial administration as well. Uh, this is via hospitals, mobile, mobile apps developed for each province and health volunteers. Just a case in point is that for example the province of Chiang Mai had announced uh, their registration scheme and especially for foreign nationals they had a, that release in English as well and that would be registration for vaccination effective in the month of June. So this is one part of the bigger plan that we had been uh, talking to you uh, about uh, that we have designated hospitals so we have the hospitals that um, you have medical records in and they will be ready to receive uh, your request for vaccination in hospitals across the country and uh, we have designated hospitals, private hospitals in Bangkok or university related affiliated hospitals, university hospitals, medical facilities, faculties. And of course also the, each province will have their own registration scheme to ensure the effective registration. Various provinces in Thailand have uh, differing, different numbers of uh, foreign nationals, so, so to speak. So, if, for example, Chiang Mai, there's probably a higher number of foreign nationals than in some other provinces. So, therefore, that scheme has come to place, which is all under the uh, plan that we have been discussing and uh, giving information to you uh, continuously uh, throughout the past weeks. Now, the DDC, the Department of Disease Control, will adjust the plan for this distribution in terms of the provincial distribution uh, from a monthly to a weekly basis by considering the development of the situation. And each province setting up their own plan for who should be inoculated, the priority group, and, and, the, and the like. And the DDC department has already look, allocated a quota of 5 million doses for Bangkok and 1 million for workers who belong to the Social Security Fund, as an example. And of course, this is part of our commitment to inoculate at least 70% of people in the country. Uh, their first jab, 70% receiving their first uh, by September, as there will be around 50 million vaccine doses available. Now, moreover, the Ministry of Public Health has issued an order to allow the people uh, who experience adverse effects from the vaccine to be treated in private health institutions free of charge as well. So just some additional points as mentioned by Dr. Apisamai. Today is World uh, No Tobacco Day, no smoking day, so to speak. So just like to highlight the dangers of smoking, especially the its increasing effects on virus, on smokers during the current pandemic. And you have some infographics there from the World Health Organization on screen for you. So according to the World Health Organization, smoking can weaken the lung capacity and a weak lung may not be able to cope or withstand the effects of the COVID-19 virus. And having a history of smoking may substan substantially increase the chances of the adverse effects, including being uh, admitted to intensive care if that smoker unfortunately is tested positive for COVID. Therefore, requiring mechanical ventilation and suffering severe health uh, consequences. So therefore, there's no time to lose. Tobacco users who intend to quit can seek help from medical personnel in Thailand, of course, there are many. You can dial 1600 to contact the national quit line, national quit line, to ask for advice to quit smoking effectively. I guess in this case, we can say that quitters are winners. Quitters are winners. And I mentioned this because smoking, of course, is related to, um, it has effects on the lungs. And in this day and age, we have COVID infection, which of course 
go straight to the lungs. I guess that's a very smart choice for people to stop to quit smoking uh, now. It's a good opportunity during this time. So basically, this is the recap that I have for you for today. I hope that this is the start of the work week, whether you work from home or work from the office. Uh, hopefully, most of you work, uh, continue to work from home. I hope that uh, you have the, a very fruitful uh, rest, rest of the week uh, day, as well as remain safe, as well as remain committed to uh, safeguarding the health and safety of your community, of yourself, and of our country, because we're all on the same boat. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. We'll see you again throughout this week. Sorry, Krap.